Welcome back, welcome back to the next playthrough on our YouTube, I guess. I don't know. I really don't know how I was going to start this. It's been a while. Nice to see you. Uh, we are going today, as you can see, with Pokemon Emerald Sea Glass. This is a the 3.0 version just came out like a week ago. Um, I've heard a lot of great things about this game. I've been a little hesitant to start it. I wasn't a huge fan of the art style of it. It's kind of like a mix between like Gen 2 and a bunch of new mons in it and stuff like that so it's a little hesitant on it um looks a little extra at times but i've heard great things about it so i wanted to give it a chance so we are going to play through this we are not nuzlocking this game um with these rom hacks like this i like to get through them completely especially i'd rather do a blind playthrough of it not know exactly what's going to happen and just experience the game the way it was intended to ex be experienced so we're going to go through it like that we're going to go with a new game and uh, yeah, we'll do a quick intro episode. I'll probably try to keep it slightly short so I can leave room for people to put nicknames. I don't want to, you know, get a bunch of encounters because there are a lot of games. I mean, there are a lot of encounters early in this game, so I don't want to get through a ton of them just picking nicknames on my own. So, oh my God, that low tide looks kind of terrifying. I'm not going to lie. One of over 400 Pokemon found in Hoenn. Recent migration events have made Hoenn a hotspot for biodiversity. It's like anywhere else. If you're seeing this message, then your family has decided to move to Hoenn. I mean... I'm still so bad at knowing what the region's names are. I know it goes Kanto, Johto, Hoenn. I only know it because of this. Is it Sinnoh? Unova? Hold on. Hold on. Unova's Gen 5. Gen 6 is... Mm. Can't think of it. And then it's Alola. And then what is Gen 8? Sword and Shield. Galar, and then Gen 9 is, um, are there any regional forms in Gen 9 that I can, like, use this in a, that's how I did Galar, I just cheated and used Galarian, whatever, oh, is there a regional form for Gen 9, am I super blanking on this right now, I think I am, Ooh, okay, this looks a lot better than I thought it was going to. I'm not going to lie. Must be tiring riding with the things in the moving truck. That's very dangerous, Mom. Uh, what do you think? Get your own room. Let's go inside. Okay, I don't know how different the story for this game is. Um, I don't... Because I believe all the Pokemon are in the game. I have really... Like I said, I haven't really looked into this. Better set and start it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what time it is. Um, But I believe it has like up to Gen 9 in this. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I should probably look at the documentation of this to get a quick idea of like what's going on before we really get started. Uh, it looks like the starters are going to be the regular starters for this generation. So between those mons, who do I want? Do I want a Swampert? Do I want a Blaziken? Do I want a Sceptile? I think going uh, Swampert is kind of pointless because of the amount of water types in this game, even though I think Swampert's really good. So... I kind of want to go Blaziken. I think that's what I want to do. Um, these graphics do look a lot better than I thought they would. I'm guessing we do this to trigger her. Yep. Oh, who are you? Oh, you're Breezy. So you're dad. You moved in today. I'm May. Glad to meet you. All right. It kind of right now. It doesn't look like there's any change to the text or anything like that. So that's pretty good. Looking pretty, pretty standard. As of right now, I should save the game real quick. Just do a quick save. I actually, the graphics look really good on this part of it. Um, how do they look on the on the game actually on the stream? They look pretty good. Okay, I've been having issues with my OBS recording and stuff like that, and I took my glasses off. Man, I am a mess. I haven't done YouTube in a while, and I just don't know what I'm doing. Uh, also, I'm gonna put the audio up a tiny bit. Um, hi, there are scary Pokemon outside. I can hear their cries. I want to see what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. Can you see what's happening for me? Sure. That professor looks hilarious. Not gonna lie. Looks hilarious. Okay. Uh, Torchic, Trico, and Mudkip. So, like I said, I think water types, there's a billion of them, especially in this game. There's a lot of water encounters that you can do. So I'm gonna go Torchic here because fire types are just generally harder to find. And I really like Blaziken. I actually do like Blaziken. I think it's a good Pokemon. So let's grab the Torchic. Uh, go for the Scratch. Also, it's a little late in the night for me to be drinking at Celsius right now. But 
my wife slept until like literally like one o'clock today because she's just been she works second shift so she usually goes to sleep pretty late anyway um but she slept in like a lot today because she'd been sleeping kind of bad the last couple days so i was like she's not gonna want to go to bed tonight she didn't get out in a few hours so she didn't want to stay up late so i was like you know what i've been up since i was pretty early since pretty early i'm kind of tired so let's uh honest all right i received the torchic what are we gonna name the torchic kfc i'm gonna ban anybody who puts stupid names like that. <laughs> okay not doing kfc what are we gonna do for a torchic uh, i had an idea this is something i was thinking about doing um if you guys think this is a cool idea let me know uh i was thinking about making a spreadsheet with every single pokemon in the game on it and if people wanted to this is a completely optional thing they can do like a since this goes up on youtube and facebook you could do like a super chat or i don't know if you could do stars on facebook still i don't know if i even have that unlocked so i'll keep i'll just say youtube for now so you do like a youtube super chat you can put a name for a pokemon and i'll lock it in for that pokemon for like a certain amount of time i was thinking of doing it like once a year or something like that like i would i was thinking if i was to start it now i'd probably go to the end of 2025 so say you i don't know what i would do i'm literally just thinking off my head i don't know the exact details but say you donate 10 bucks and you say i want the torchic line i'll do the whole line because obviously evolutions and whatnot the torchic line i want that name it fred and every single time i get one of these in a youtube playthrough through that year i'll name it fred um if you guys think that's a cool idea let me know i mean then also if there's gonna be plenty of pokemon that won't get you know chosen via you know select the nicknames so there'll be plenty of pokemon that i can use the random you know suggestions in the comments for um for this what do i name a torch again hmm i really don't know i'm going to name it diamond because i have blue diamond almonds next to me that's the name i'm going with look how easy that was I was going to name it Sriracha because they're Sriracha flavored ones. And I was like, that's actually kind of cheesy because it's a fire Pokemon and naming it Sriracha. I feel like it's kind of corny. All right, let's look at the screen here. Get an idea of how this all looks. You have Blaze. Okay. Neutral Nature. Nature are you Hardy. I believe that's neutral. I don't know for sure. Um, but let me work my way up. There's grass in this town. It must be designed for like Nuzlocking. I don't know why that lady's behind a tree that is a cut tree and she's locked back there. That seems kind of, kind of rude. Not gonna lie, that seems kind of rude. Little sentry. Okay, there's normally not sentries in this grass, I don't think. That little glitch when I go into battle, is that normal If anybody who's played this? Like, every time I go to attack, it does like a little... See, like, in between turns, it does that. I don't know if that's normal. It, I'll probably get used to it very quickly. I also could use a little bit of speed up if I wanted to. Let's talk to you. Get a free potion. That's the Mar. Okay. I like the style of this. this. These buildings actually look really cool. I like it better than I thought it would. Um, This is a blind playthrough though. So please try to keep any spoilers out of the comments. I know this is game's been pretty popular. I'm sure plenty of you guys have played this already. And you know, you, you want to give me hints of like, hey, watch out for this person or make sure you, you talk to this person. You know, like... I would like to go through it blind if I could. Uh, for me, that's the most fun, and I think it's the best experience for the videos. Um, if there's a if there's like you know a person who gives an item like, hey, this person gives you leftovers if you talk to them, something like that. I mean, cool, I'd appreciate it. But as far as like story or like actual, you know, things that are gonna happen, I'd appreciate it if it was kept out of the. Okay, I just I'm gonna. This is gonna be a long battle, so here we go. It was gonna be a scratch battle. I did not want to sit through that. It's not fun. We learned Ember at level 6. That is nice. That is very nice. I wish they did a slightly different color on the... On the, uh... The box of the Pokemon. I feel like it looks a little... Too bright. Let me put Torchic. There we go. Um, but maybe it's just me. Like a Torchic following me. I love it. I love it. Let me go heal up. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't know. Maybe that's my settings. That ah, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. All right. 
Uh, but yeah, I'm going to actually, this is going to, like I said, it's going to be a very short first episode. I just kind of wanted to announce the new series. Um, I'm debating. I think I want to upload this because we're not doing a soul link right now. I think I'm going to upload this five days a week. I think we're going to do. If I do five. This is all like on a whim here, guys, just so you know, if you can't tell. Um, I usually do uploads Monday through Saturday when I'm doing Soul Link plus a regular series. Uh, my podcast that I do on Sundays, I kind of do it sporadically. I'm not really keeping that every single week anymore. So I think I'm going to do... Man, I kind of want to do five days a week. I kind of want to do five days a week. Because this is going to be like a non-Nuzlocke playthrough. So we're going to be kind of just grinding through it. So... Nah, no, no, no. I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna keep it the way it was, just in case we do start a soul link at some point. Mac is in the middle of school right now and stuff. He's got a semester going, so don't think we'll be doing it yet. Um, and I got a trip coming up soon, so I'll stick to my Tuesday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday schedule. If I'm, you know, caught up, I might throw an extra episode in here and there. I'll try. I'll do it like that. If we get any more than the Tuesday, Thursday, Saturdays, I'll upload an extra episode here and there no you know what? i'm gonna do monday wednesday fridays i'm doing monday wednesday fridays again because that's what my soling schedule usually was but since we're not doing that i'm gonna do monday wednesday fridays for this and if there's a bonus i'll do it on saturdays that's what i'll do look at me being a good content creator making up a schedule on the fly leave some nicknames leave some comments let me know how you guys feel about the super chat to lock in nicknames for a certain period of time idea and Anything else I might have talked about? I don't know. Let me know. Uh, but yeah, like the video. Make sure you're subscribed. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.